I think this century, he's the player of the century. I mean, he's been he's been the common denominator. 350 games, 1,000 plus goals, and he's a player who's done the very good very often and done the remarkable regularly. footy to watch who's done the spectacular more than Bunny but he's been remarkable great moments there and great reasons to look back on it but it's actually sad Caro that we're going to not see that man again because of a calf injury sustained on the weekend I know I know I mean you saw that last game at the MCG a few weeks ago and couldn't quite believe it was the last at the MCG and it ended with a whimper really in Melbourne great that the Swans got the win um I remember that when he was drafted, um, he didn't go number one, extraordinarily. Um, there were, there was, it was, he's always been an enigma right until the end. I mean, I was really sorry he didn't give a press conference today. I know he suffers from anxiety about these things, and, but I still would have loved it. And I was sorry that Longmire and, and his CEO both had to mm. say, say as much, Harley, that he wasn't there. But I've, I've loved watching him. I mean, that thousand goal thing last year, I've never seen a moment in football yeah, like it. Yeah, and he embraced that moment, didn't he? It's uh, unusual to say someone is guaranteed to be a legend in the Australian Football Hall of but Fame. He, is. he will be. Yeah, and and he I is. actually hope that it actually is in the. Uh, the first intake. He's eligible in 2029, and I hope he is, Lotto. But um, from someone who finished eighth and is still sits eighth on the all-time goal-kicking list, as you are, Lotto, with 926, talk about this man who finished his career with 1,066 and, and will forever stay fourth highest of all time. Why he's so special, I think, is there's never been a player that's been before him, and I don't think there'll ever be a player that plays like him after him. There's nothing. Like, you think of Dunstall and Lockett and Ablett Senior, there's no-one that's played quite like him. Who moves like Frankly? He's like a gazelle that crosses the ground and at ground level, at that height, how can you be so good? And I remember playing against him in 08, so way back 15 years ago. He kicked nine goals, five against us at Marble Stadium, and I thought, wow, we, we just couldn't find any answers to stop him. All the backmen were coming out with their tongues hanging out of their mouths. So aerobically amazing, explosive... Uh, obviously didn't have the big mark, but he had everything else. And I think people underestimate what a hard trainer he was in his prime, like his mm. running capacity. And he wasn't a great kick for goal, and he became an unbelievable kick for goal, which shows the dedication to his craft as well. And, Kane, it really annoyed me uh, when people said the, the Sydney deal didn't work because he never won a flag. He, he played in three grand finals, and he lost all of them. He actually lost four in his career, only won the two. But I reckon that deal was franked as soon as three years into it. You're speaking to the biggest sceptic of long-term deals that there is in the game. <laughs> that one worked. That absolutely worked. What a year over the night. He, he, he had one that extra. Was, that was yes. extraordinary. Yes. No, everyone I mean, said it wouldn't reach it. And Andrew Ireland deserves a mention here because hmm. he absolutely stumped the entire... I mean, it sort of crueled GWS in many ways because they lost their cost of living allowance. Yeah. They were co-punished yeah. for losing, buddy, really. But average crowds at the SCG... Over 30,000 for years, over the buddy years. And that, we, we will, we'll never find another one like him. But Sydney do need someone who will be that focal point. It will never be Lance Franklin again, though.